What is up and welcome back to Viral Ed where we create the best educational content on the planet. Don't forget to share our videos on social media whether that be Facebook or YouTube and most importantly don't forget to like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Previously we have discussed the skeletal system covering what it is, the main functions of the skeletal system and how these functions impact our body. If you are unfamiliar with the concepts or need a quick refresher, the video will be linked in the description below. Before we start, a quick shout out to those people that commented the correct answer in the Adam 2 video. Once again, before we start, I'm going to pose a question that will be answered near the end of the video. And once you have the answer, comment in the section below and I'll choose some answers to shout out at the beginning of the next video. The question is, in infants, what is your skeleton mainly made up of? Today, we are going to dive deeper into the skeletal system, covering the two major skeletal system parts, basic bone shapes, structure of the bone, and how bones develop over time. We're going to start with the two major skeletal system parts. The first is the axial skeleton, which includes the skull, spine, ribs, and sternum. These are all the bones in the central axis of the body and protect all of our vital organs. The second is the appendicular skeleton, which includes the appendages of the body, which includes the shoulders, arms, hips, and legs. Next, we will look at the four basic bone shapes that are located around the body. The first is long bones. Long bones are hard, dense bones that provide strength, structure, and mobility. An example of these are the thigh bone, or your femur. A long bone has a shaft and two ends, and some bones in the fingers are classified as long bones, even though they are short in length. Second is short bones. Short bones are those bones that are as wide as they are long. Their primary function is to provide support and stability with little to no movement. Some examples are the bones in your wrist and ankles. Flat bones. Flat bones are bones whose function is either extensive protection or the provision of broad surfaces for muscular attachment. Examples of flat bones are the skull and sternum. The fourth one is irregular bones. The irregular bones are bones which from their particular form cannot be grouped as long, short, flat or sesamoid bones. These are mainly found in the spine. Next we will look at the structure of bone. Bones are complex living structures that undergo growth and development. Bones contain four distinct layers that each play a different role whether that be protection or cell production. The structure of bones make it both strong and lightweight, making up 20% of adults' body weight. Bone is made up of two minerals, calcium and phosphorus. So now if we look at the four layers of bone, the first layer is periosteum, and that is a membrane that covers the outer surface of all bones, except at the joints of long bones. The second layer is compact bone, or cortical bone, which lies beneath the periosteum, it is a denser material used to create much of the hard structure of the skeleton. Third is spongy bone, which again lies beneath the compact bone. It is a very porous type of bone found in animals. It is highly vascularized and contains red bone marrow. Spongy bone is usually located at the ends of the long bone with the harder compact bone surrounding it. The fourth layer is bone marrow, which fills the gaps between the spongy bone. Bone marrow is the primary site of new blood cell production. There are two types of bone marrow, red and yellow. Red bone marrow produces most of the body's blood cells, while the yellow marrow stores fat that can serve as an energy reserve. Lastly, is how do bones develop? As an infant, most of your skeleton is cartilage, which is a strong, flexible tissue. Over time, the cartilage is replaced by solid bone, usually complete by the time you stop growing, with a process called ossification. Some cartilage remains in adults in your joints, protecting the ends of bones, ears, and the end of your nose. That is the end of this video. We'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you like the video, press the like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. Otherwise, I will see you next time.